Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today, earlier this morning, the Tennessee Titans go ahead and add depth behind Ben Jones with center Spencer Pulley, who has played for the Chargers and the Giants, I believe. We'll check out his stats here in a second. Again, this is an offensive lineman, so you're not going to see much uh, you know, anything too, uh, you know, flashy, but, um, you can see how many games he's played, uh, and whatnot, but Jeremy Fowler reporting this this morning, um, right before nine o'clock, uh, and we can go ahead and hop into his stats here. Um, now let's see what we can do here. Okay. So, uh, so we see he's played for the chargers and the giants. Now, um, 2017 started all 16 games for the chargers. Um, I guess that's pretty good. Uh, again, like like I said, um, I'm not sure why 2019 he only played four games. I'm not sure, you know, if he had an injury or um, or anything like that. Um, but if any Giants fans are out there watching this video, let me know down below. But uh, even if any of y'all y'all know, help me out down below. Uh, let me know what happened to him. But for the most part, I see that you know he, he he's gonna bring in solid depth for us there with Ben Jones. Um, I love Ben Jones, dude. Dude's an absolute, he's a, he's a beast, dude. He's a beast. I love Ben Jones, but, um, you know, offensive line for the Tennessee Titans, I think, um, definitely one of the better in, in the NFL. Uh, we still have a question mark at right tackle, um, but we got Taylor Lewan Taylor coming back, who is going to be an absolute monster. Uh, hopefully, he can get, you know, get back to what he was playing like a couple years ago uh, before the injury because he we know what he can do. Uh, and then we have left guard, Roger Saffold, on his last leg. We'll have to see. This could be his last year in the NFL. Um, hopefully, he can go out with a bang and end it with a Super Bowl. So, um, I, I know that's what he's looking for. Um, maybe this is his last year. Maybe he's got another year left. Um, but who knows? Um, and then we got, obviously, center Ben Jones. Um, and then at right guard, we have a rising star in Nate Davis, one of the more underrated right guards in the NFL, um, to go along with one of the under, more underrated left guards in the NFL, Roger Saffold. So the Titans are a very sneaky, they have a very sneaky good offensive line, um, and the addition to Spencer Pulley will help us out there. Again, at right tackle, there's still a question mark who's going to take that spot, Kendall Lamb. Or is it going to be our rookie that we selected in the draft with Dylan Radins? Um, we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out. Again, I think either or will be A-OK -okay because, um, well, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, just because um, Dylan Radins is going to have to make that transition from left tackle to right tackle. So if he ends up, you know, obviously getting a starting spot, which I think will happen, um, you know, we'll have to see how he plays there because obviously he was at left tackle uh, in college. So we'll have to see how that transition happens. But um, I think he'll be a okay there. Uh, he's got a lot of leadership on that offensive line with a lot of, you know, Taylor Lewan, Roger Saffold, Ben Jones are, you know, great bunch of guys that can help you uh, if you need any help there. So in my opinion, Spencer Pulley, nothing wrong with it. So, hey, it is what it is. We picked him up. Um, so I guess I'll take it, but hopefully we still have enough money to sign someone else because I still would like a cornerback. Um, I've been saying it, Richard Sherman for a long time. Some of you agree with me, some of you don't. Uh, but in my opinion, if we can bring in Richard Sherman, he's gonna help us win games. So um, that's just my 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 you know my looking on that. Um, and then I guess that's see I, I think wide receiver. There's a lot of competition going on wide receiver. We'll have a, a day three recap later today. Um, but a lot of competition wide receiver wise and I absolutely love it. Um, you know, people fighting for spots. Um, but we'll have to see. Maybe we maybe we bring in seven next year rather than six wide receivers. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see on that. There's a lot of a lot of competition going on. Uh, you know, Cody Hollister, Chester Rogers, um, and, and those guys at the bottom of the list, NWI, who I think is gonna make it, but uh, you know, his, his name's mixed in there, Racy McMath, um, you know. Uh, Mason Kinsey, uh, all those guys down there definitely have a shot at making the roster. They just have to prove themselves in training camp. Um, and a couple of them have so far, but can they just keep it up? That's the question. But that being said, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Until next time.
I'll see y'all.